Hello and welcome to this PVLib Python tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to, how to model a dual axis tracking system. That means that our uh, PV modules will then be able to follow the uh, orientation of the sun throughout the day. Um, for this, we're going to start off with the code from our single axis tracking um, example from the last tutorial. I just copied it over in a new file. And then I'm going to also import from uh, pvlib.pvsystem abstract mount. Um, this abstract mount is actually a, um, a base class for all mounts that you can define in, in pvlib. Uh, as you see down here, the fixed mount and also the single axis tracker mount, which we used in the previous tutorial. Um, uh, inherit the, the abstract mount class and then you can define the, the parameters that are important for uh, for your mount like the the tilt azimut and angle which we also used in the in the previous tutorial for our single um, axis tracker and um, what we need to do here is define a, a new class for our dual axis tracking system and this class needs to have the function get orientation which is supposed to return a dictionary with the keys surface tilt and surface azimuth. So that's kind of like the, the basics that we, we need to provide. And that's also what we're going to um, go with. So um, I'm scrolling down below the um, instantiation of our um, single axis tracking model chain. And I'm going to start defining this, this class here. So we're going to say uh, class dual axis tracker whoop, mount and um, it's going to inherit the abstract mount class. And then um, we need to define the, the function. Uh, get orientation and we pass self uh, solar zenith and uh, solar azimuth and uh, this function basically does what I just told you. It return, returns um, a dictionary, which we define with the curly brackets, and then it has to have the key surface tilt, which is going to be our solar azimuth. Yeah, sorry. It's a neat, of course. Uh, and the surface adds a mood, uh, which is our solar adds a mood. All right, this function is then going to be called internally. Um, and so we can continue um defining uh, like going along the same steps as we did with the single axis tracker mount because we basically have this class now so we can um get our what are you doing we can get the mount let's call this mount uh dual axis tracking from the dual axis tracker mount class and we don't pass any arguments here because we don't have further, like we don't have axis tilt and all this defined as uh, as it is for the, the single axis tracker uh, class. And uh, next we have the mount, uh, we have the array, array dual axis tracking equals um, array. And for the arrays, we pass a list 
Ah, sorry for our mount. We pass the uh, dual axis tracking mount, and uh, basically the same. Uh, where was it? Here, the same system we defined for the single axis tracking as well the same uh, module the same uh, amount of modules and the same amount of strings so we have our uh, array then we need our uh, system dual access tracking which is now from pv system where our arrays are the list with the uh, dual axis tracking array and the inverter inverter parameters it's the same inverter and then we define the model chain um previously it was model chain sat so model chain dat equals model oops model chain um and we pass the system dat and the location, which is still the same for all three systems we want to compare. And uh, just like the others, we're going to run it with the clear sky data. So we have our dual axis tracking system, single axis tracking and the fixed system. And then we're also going to plot the dual axis tracking system model chain. D A T and we add it to our list of for the legend single dual dual axis tracking. Okay, then we should be good to go and run. Great. So in the um in the figure we see the blue is the fixed system the orange one is the single axis tracking which has um, which underperforms compared to the other two during the um, well, midday hours because it has a flat orientation at the, during that time and of course the dual axis tracking system just follows the uh, the orientation of the sun throughout the day and has the the best energy yield uh, compared to the others. All right, that's a, a basic uh, dual access tracker system. If you want to specify it more, you have to basically specify this, this class uh, according to your needs. But uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, comments or remarks on what I showed you so far, feel free to leave a message below this video. Um, if you like my videos, leave a thumbs up uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel so others can find uh, my channel and learn about PV modeling as well. So always stay curious and we'll meet again for another video. Bye.